What's up, guys? What a beautiful day. We're only in the 60s today. I'm so happy about that. So happy about that. So tired of sweating my backside off. Hey, real quick. Uh, for all you guys that are new to the channel, I know we picked up over a dozen people, which, you know, in the big scheme of things, I guess ain't that much. But for us, you know, it's something. It's significant. We're happy about it. We're, we welcome you aboard. Um, but, but, you know, in the last video, I touched on, hey, uh, you know, you can get a little bit, little bit of education here on how to get stuff basically for free to sell for pure profit. And uh, that's what we're going out to do today. So I'm going to talk about that throughout the video. But it's basically connections that I've made over the last, God, it's been better part of a decade I've been doing it. And, uh, well, like I say, we'll talk about it. Let's get inside a storage unit. All right, Ellie. Well, you actually informed me that uh, we have five units to get today. There's two at this facility. Let's jump right into it. We've seen worse. We certainly have. Oh, Jesus. Dang on piano and everything, Ellie. <laughs> oh, lordy, 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 lordy. Yeah. Hey, this is similar, Ellie. This is a TV stand, but you know what? I love how they added this. Mm hmm Because you can just run your uh, a bar in there and turn this thing into an armoire, which some people need, man. I mean, you know, they don't have big closets. They need extra space. And they sell better as an armoire. Well, apparently they felt like they needed extra space. She's locked, Ellie. Mm. All right, moving on. Moving on. You get attic space in this one now. Mm-hmm. Is that nice? Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> that clearly I'm not a musician. Ellie, I got this kind of open, but I didn't open it all the way. Look at it real carefully. I figured I'd do that right here on video. It's actually an, an awesome armoire from what I'm seeing so far. Let's take a look. Because uh, you know we're on a we're not on a level ground here, but man, once this thing cleans up, Ellie, I mean, I tell you what, dude, if this thing cleans up enough, I feel like this could be a hundred dollar bill, Ellie. Could be. Yeah, it's super cool. I'm pretty stoked about it. I kind of want it for myself, but I ain't got nowhere to put it. Uh, but check this out, Ellie. Check this out, man. We we just peeked at it a little bit, but this thing is is. This is awesome. Look at this thing. It's super heavy duty. I mean, I have a hard time getting super, super excited about pianos because they can be kind of hard to sell. But this is at least a piano and not an organ. Organs are even worse. I mean, in our little store, if you really want to move it, you're looking at somewhere between fifty and seventy-five dollars. I'm just gonna go with uh, just to be conservative, Ellie. I'm gonna say 150 bucks, right here and then right in there, Ellie. Not the bike, but this other this other piece we looked at a second ago. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with 100 just to be conservative. 150 bucks for all this. Jesus, Perfect. Joseph and Mary. Okay. All right, let's load it up, Ellie. What a project. What a project. Come look at it. I tell you right now, I sure am glad it's a lot cooler today. At least I got that on my side. That piano, I mean, I could say some profane things right now, but I will not. It was heavy. It was definitely heavy, Ellie. You were part of it. Good thing you got all that muscle on your body, Ellie. <laughs> I sure couldn't have handled it by myself. <laughs> Ellie, we're, we're a little tight here. 
idea, but we had to get we had to get this close because I was blocking the aisle way over there. All right, well here we go. Let's see what's in this one, Allie. Hopefully another 150 bucks or more. Look at that, they were stealing buckets from the uh, bar down the road. Ellie, I think we're going to be filled up by the time we leave here. That's a cool little jewelry box. A little beat up, but maybe we can work with it. There's no top to it, Ellie. All right, well, hey, there's a flag. There's an American flag right there, Ellie. Very nice. Well, they preserved it a little bit. I'll take care of it from here, fella. Yes, sir, I sure will. I'm going to put that in the back seat, and then we're going to get right into this, Ellie. Okay. God, that's, that hey, is there's huge. a king-size headboard you can tap to your wall. You know, give it a little extra flavor in front of your bed. Hmm. Oh, Lord, I don't even know. I'm not even going to... There's five. There's ten. Fifteen. There's got to be 20, 25 of these things right here, Ellie. I mean, without any question whatsoever. Coors Light, Corona. Smith Force. Smith Force Hard Cider. Without a question, I get a dollar a piece for these, Ellie. In fact, I think I can get two bucks, three for five. Mm -hmm. So what would that be, Al? If you got 25, and say you got 20 in there, that's uh, three of them for five. Say there's 21, that's seven deals. There's thirty-five dollars. Yep. We got twenty-one of them, Ellie. I'm getting thirty-five dollars out of a bunch of daggone old beer cans, beer ice buckets. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at them. I'll do that deal. Well, there's eight bucks, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Three dollars, two for five. That's what I sell my containers for. That's a minimum five-dollar deal. Looks good. Right, I'll take it. My little Charlie Brown tree. I think she's been around the block, Ellie. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna need a little fine tuning now. But hey, it comes with Santa Claus. Hey, it's Santa Alley. Very nice. It's 2020. I seen a Facebook meme. Santa was standing there by the bar and he's like, nobody ain't nobody getting shit this year. <laughs> well, we're getting presents. Yes. Christmas in September, baby. All right, Ellie. I mean, you know, I was trying to put it together so I could show you guys, but it's actually gonna, it's actually gonna store a lot better apart. But so, so the set screw, there's set screws in the way, and I can't set that down in there. But you get the idea. We're gonna work on it. I think it's a twenty dollar bill. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've certainly gotten a lot better, guys. Certainly gotten a lot better ones. But you know what? Here's the deal. I have girls and boys. Uh, I got different people. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's my point. That's a project. That's a project waiting to happen. Okay? I mean, whatever. Here's the deal. You can throw it away. You can just straight up throw it away. Go ahead. It would be easier. Or you can put it on the floor and say, your next Pinterest project, five bucks. Right? I've done it. How many times have I done it, Ellie? I don't have a clue. A bunch. Mm -hmm. Ellie, I don't care who you are. That's a 1981 model right there, but it is awesome, man. <laughs> can you imagine if somebody outlined... Like, it's awesome as it is. Just clean it up and it's... You know, it's fine, but can you imagine if somebody outlined like all of this in like a gold or something? I think it would be, yeah, I think that would really make it pop. Anyway, I tell you what, man, the way it sits, <laughs> I think I can get 20 bucks for it, Ellie. Yeah, so, I mean, I'll tell you right now, man, you guys know how I do with beds. And if you don't, uh, you know, look, look back at some videos we did. The one where Ellie's uh, scared of snakes. Picked up $300 in an hour and a half. It's a video we did a couple weeks ago. That'll tell you all about the bed thing. 
But I tell you right now, I think you got yourself about 40 bucks between this and that bunky board there in the back. Put it on a frame, you definitely got yourself 50, 60 bucks. Ellie, this thing feels super light, you know, it's like nothing in it, but we'll check one or two drawers. All right, $10 bill, boys and girls. This keeps adding up, doesn't it? Ellie, I'm gonna check her out, even though wreaths don't sell that great. Christmas wreaths do, and it's almost Christmas time. Thrift store up the road from us has got like 20 Christmas trees in there. I'm thinking, man, you guys ain't got nothing better to put in the window in, in like literally like the end of August, first of September they started. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a little pumpkin wreath, Ellie. We get mm -hmm. that out pretty pretty soon here, first of October. All right, whatever. You know, it's not a big deal. It's not not super exciting stuff. But that's a five dollar bill, Ellie. I get a dollar or two for that picture thing. Call it another. Let's say we got twenty bucks right here, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Twenty bucks, Ellie. Twenty bucks, twenty bucks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ellie, there's a little pool table. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's all in there, but if it is, it's a five dollar bill. Uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap this up. Look here, we got um, whatever. That's a coin counter, but look, we got tarps over here, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Didn't you just count it a second ago? You said there was like eight. Eight tarps? of them. Yeah, eight. Yeah, they're super thin and they're kind of small, but hey, That's a buck a piece, man. Mm -hmm. Two dollars, three for five. Whatever. You know, with what we got left here. I'm just gonna say another 20 bucks. Cause I'm really, I mean, that's a shoe rack. This is some kind of weird thing that I feel like I could potentially talk some old girl into doing something with for a few bucks. We're just gonna say 20 bucks on the rest of this mess. We're gonna load it up and we're gonna see what else is down the road. LA, bunch of junk here. Actually, she, uh, the office manager, she asked me if I would take care of this for her. Cause it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of heavy for her. It's no big deal. I'm coming out anyway to pick up this dresser you're going to see in a second. But let's smash it up, man. Let's have a little bit of fun, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready, Ellie? Ready. I don't think it's going to take much. Here we go. <laughs> Careful, Ellie. One more time. You ready? Ready. Dangerous. All right. You got this right well Ellie we couldn't really get you a good good footage on this one because you know we were talking with the office manager and stuff but but anyway long story short here this thing here man you see the damage on it I mean we're gonna try to clean it up we're gonna try to get what we can out of it or whatever man the drawers are all there that's good news even if it doesn't work out really well for us I think we can still get 20 bucks Ellie I mean like I said man I've said it I don't know how many times now people people need a good price on stuff even if it's a little beat up we're, again we'll clean it up we'll see it may be just straight trash but i think we can get at least 20 out of this thing in the condition it's in but now we've got three at this location there was two and now there's three so let's open it up let's see what we got oh ellie hey That's Looky nice. Looky here, Ellie. Looky here. Very nice. Uh, she's going to need a little air in her tires right there, but that's all right. I can handle that. Man, that is not a cheap set of hand trucks right there, Ellie. Look at that bad boy. Yep, looks nice. So you got a set of hand trucks, and I'll tell you what, man, just because I don't really care if they would sell or they don't sell, they actually might be good for the auction house that we're thinking about doing in the future because that's more like a cart. Anyway, whatever. If I sell them, I probably wouldn't take a dime under 50 bucks for them because I don't really care if they sell or not. You know, I'll make sure that tire blows up. This might be a nice little set. So the rest of it's trash, right? And that happens, dude. I mean, that happens. It's the way it is. I mean, there's, there's really not much you can do about it. We're not going to be able to get it all with this truck and trailer. My plan is to go back, get my own truck and the trailer that's on it. And, uh, you know, just deal with this the rest of the day and try to get these guys all cleaned up today, even at that last facility closer to the house. So we're going to take this and probably a little bit of trash to throw in the bed of Negan's truck 
and then we're going to move on to the next unit and come back to this one. Ellie, you going to tell them about that lamp outside? No. <laughs> it was trash anyway, man, but it's definitely trash now. She hit the cement. All right, well, we couldn't get all that stuff up there like I talked about. We left a crappy bed behind, the remnants of the day bed, the big TV, the footrest. Who cares? We'll come back for it. Let's take a look in here and see what we got in this one. Jeez. Hey, some money, Allie. Mm-hmm. About 32 cents worth. I thought she could. Hey, movies, Allie. <laughs> if any of you guys are following me on Facebook, I just recently posted like 200 movies in a stack and there's more, there's more movies than just that, that I just posted. Uh, but here's even more, Ellie. Let's take a quick look. Let's take, uh, the amazing Spider-Man, which is sealed. All right. So that's in there. How about seven pounds with old big Willie? That's in there. Ellie, if these are all in there, that's five, 10, 15, 20. $25 on top, probably another $25 on bottom. That's a $50 bill, Ellie. Here's a set of bed rails, Ellie. I mean, they, they help us sell our beds. So you can sell them separately. That set, will, if it has, all four, it has all four feet, Ellie, it's probably a $20 bill right there. You go price bed rails, man. Some of those king bed rail heavy duty sets, they're like 150 bucks. Mm. You can get them cheaper, but you can spend that much, too. Hi, right, Ellie. Take a look right here. Okay. I mean, most of these shoes look pretty damn good, if I do say so myself, man. Those are, like, brand new. Mm -hmm. New Balance, Reebok. That's a pair of Nikes. Steve Madden, not big on that. There's another New Balance. Mm. Uh, Tim Evans. Yeah, I don't know all my shoes. I just know the... Sneakers mostly, but hey, whatever, man. Let's say five bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. Five bucks a pair. Well, that's 40 bucks. Check this out, Ellie. This is kind of cool, too, man. I, I don't know, whatever. It's brand new. And first thing I'm going to show you is the MSRP. 60 bucks. Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. be, be lucky to get five. But the thing I liked about it, which I guess is probably not news, but they got this cool little uh, charger in there, Ellie. Oh, the Super C? Mm -hmm. Actually, it looks like it's good for probably, yeah, I, iPhone as coming. well. So, hey, I think we'll get five bucks out of that. Here There's me. another $10 bill right there, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Ellie, we got our exercise, just like a rat in a maze, but we finally found our cheese here, Ellie. Let's <whistles> we'll see what's in her. Oh, no, I don't think we're going to make much money on this one, Al. No. Two tires and a broke down, sorry, sad TV stand. Let's pull it out and take a look at it. She's pretty terrible, Ellie. She's pretty terrible, but it's like the dog puked on it. But uh, you're going to clean it up, right, Al? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Well, if it cleans up, you might get 10 bucks on a good day. What else we got in here, Ellie? Oh, there's an old diaper, Ellie. Mm, nice. Hey! There's only two of them, man, but uh, let's pull these out and take a look, Al. Ow. <laughs> look at this. I tell you what, first thing I'm going to talk about is the tread, man. Those are low profile, and that's got good tread. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but there's some good tread on there, man. But look at the look at the rims. Very nice. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys, though. Tires and rims don't really sell that good, and they certainly aren't going to sell very good if we only got two of them. It might take us six months. But you could potentially get, you know, I mean, you could make money, man. But if you really want to sell them, if you really want to sell them, get, it, get them out of your life, 
I might as well just go ahead and, and I mean, I hate to even say it, but you might as well just take 50 bucks for the pair. I mean, get it over with because, I mean, I know these rims, man, are hundreds of dollars. Some of them are thousands. I mean, I don't know this particular style or brand or whatever, but whatever, who cares? It's, it's free to us. It's free money. So, so let's talk about that for one second. You know, I told you I was going to touch on that. This one's certainly not a home run. It looks good, but, you know, it looks okay. But, 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 so, so again, we're in it for the long haul, right? You know, we're, we're, you take the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's my favorite way to put it, man. We've already in that trailer got at least $500 worth of stuff. I mean, I'm guessing that it's going to be right around $500 worth of stuff. Uh... Maybe it's 400 whatever. I don't know. I'll do the math. We'll put that at the end of the video. The point is, man, these guys are calling me constantly. I've been a YouTuber since like the 1st of August. I've got like six videos on just picking up stuff. And every time I go out, I'm picking up two, three units, eight units, six units. All right. Anyway, you know, leave some comments. I'd, I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to, uh, you know, answer some questions about how I got into this, how this all really works. But I'm trying to give it to you, you know, as real as possible. This is how it works. They call me. I pick it up. I sell it. I make thousands of dollars in just a matter of months. You take time. You go a year, two years, three years, man. You're up over tens of thousands of dollars. All right, let's load it up, Ellie. We'll talk about it more later. Ellie, we got here to the last location. It's kind of on the way home anyway. And uh, we just really stopped because we have no room. We have to really go back and get my truck and trailer, which has half a trailer load in it. But but anyway, we stopped to take a look, man. And this stuff, it's all trash pretty much. I mean, you, you might be able to, Ellie, get a little something out of that box. Probably not. It looks like cable boxes to me. You might be able to fix this. You know, bookshelf or whatever, but it's 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 not exciting. Let's let's say that. So just as I promised, a little bonus coverage here. You made it all the way to the end of the video and you, you watched it all the way through and clearly you're interested in how to get free stuff for pure profit, to sell for pure profit, right? So so just a little, little bonus nugget here. I'm going to give you one more way that I used to do that I don't really do anymore. Um, just because really time, it's a time thing and whatever, it, it, you know. Uh, so property preservation property preservation was something that I used to do years ago and it includes more than just clean outs um, so I don't know that you necessarily want to set up a business you know working for the banks cleaning out foreclosures mowing lawns you know next thing you know they want you to do this that whatever so but you do what they do need okay and what more than just the banks need landlords need uh, you know different it's a service that you could put yourself out there. I mean, there's so many things you can do on social media. You just pick one platform, man. Let's say Craigslist. Old school Craigslist, man. And just tell people, hey, man, I clean places out. And I do it for nothing. I mean, you don't have to. You know, you don't have to say you do it for nothing. You could, you could literally say, lowest price, I'd beat anybody. And what you do is you go out there, man. You know, you give yourself a radius of where you're willing to go to like say you live in you know I live in South Carolina I live in in just outside of Greenville so I could say all right I cover Greenville Pickens and Anderson County which is all pretty much 45 minutes from my house because I'm right there in the center of all of it but anyway 
if you if you if you choose an area, put yourself out there that you clean out. You're cheaper than anybody out there. You go out and look at the what they have. They want you want you know that that they want hauled off. Man, if you're seeing money, I mean, you could almost say, hey man, you know what? I'll just do it for you for fifty bucks, hundred bucks, whatever. You, you you'd have to look at it and decide. But the bottom line is, man, if you're hauling this stuff off and they don't realize, hey man, this is all money. And you got five hundred dollars worth of product, you know. Like I said, man, I, I, I'd probably, I'd probably be doing something like that if I had more time, you know, dealing with the big boys that I'm dealing with and the few girls that call me for, that used to work with those big boys. That's plenty enough for me. And uh, plus, I like to buy them. I mean, you watch some of the videos where I'm hunting treasures. Uh, in storage units or whatever and I'm finding gold man I'm finding you know whatever I mean it don't happen all the time but you know buying them it doesn't hurt either <laughs> you know there's certainly plenty of treasure in them uh, you know if you buy right you know you, you gotta buy it right you, you, know, you know it takes a little bit of time to, to figure that out but but whatever so alright that's one tip you know what maybe I'll, maybe I'll give you a couple more in the next video